tirar a ministra da pastinha. Good afternoon, or maybe good evening. Brazil, at the presidency of the Security Council, called for today's meeting. I interrupted an official trip to Southeast Asia to come to New York in person in order to participate in such meeting and have other consultations at UN. It is the second time the Council meets in the, in the current tragic situation in Israel and Gaza. In today's closed consultations, Council members had a briefing by Secretary General Antonio Guterres himself personally. In the dialogue that followed, member states had the opportunity to exchange views. At the end, upon request of Council members, Brazil will continue to work closely with all delegations, aiming a unified position uh, by the Council on the situation. I would like also to make this as a statement as President of the Security Council. I would like now to speak in my national capacity as Foreign Minister of Brazil. Brazil believes that the Council should act in the face of an almost unprecedented escalating violence and unfolding humanitarian catastrophe. The Council has a crucial responsibility, both in the immediate response to the unfolding humanitarian crisis, as well as in later stages when intensified multilateral efforts will be needed to restore a peace process. Neither Israelis nor Palestinians should have to endure similar suffering ever again. I came to the, the UN firstly to convey President Lula's call for, a, for an urgent multilateral humanitarian action to end the suffering of civilians caught up in the midst of these hostilities. I also underscored President Lula's appeal for the immediate and unconditional release of the civilians that have been abducted and held hostage since the beginning of this crisis. Brazil will continue to promote dialogue among members and action on the part of the Council through the opening of possible avenues of negotiation. The immediate objective is clear and immediate, to prevent further bloodshed and loss of life and to try to ensure urgent, unimpeded humanitarian access to the affected areas. International humanitarian law and international human rights law provide clear guidance on what needs to be done. A humanitarian pause is urgent, as well as the establishment of humanitarian corridors to access Gaza. Much of the reputation of the United Nations, and in particular of the Security Council, depends on the approach of the organization to the ongoing crisis. The eyes of the world are also on us here in New York. Brazil has been following the situation in Israel and Palestine with deep sadness and concern. Alarmed by the widespread human suffering, we firmly believe that all efforts must prioritize the protection of civilians, especially the many children caught up in the violence. We received with dismay the news that the Israeli forces called for all civilians, more than one million, living in northern Gaza to leave within 24 hours. As the United Nations has stated, that may lead to unprecedented levels of misery for innocent civilians. We are also following closely the situation of Brazilian citizens in both Israel and Palestine. We have repatriated hundreds of Brazilians from the region so far. We mourn the three youngsters who perished in the attack to the music festival they were attending while in Israel. We express our deepest sympathy to all families that lost their loved ones in this conflict, including humanitarian world workers and UN personnel. We also express our solidarity to the wounded and displaced. 
we hope that peace may prevail for all in the Middle East and will continue to work to achieve that end. Finally, we reiterate our strong support to an enduring two-state solution with Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace and prosperity within secure, <coughs> mutually agreed, and internationally recognized borders. Thank you. Does Brazil, does Brazil uh, support the resolution, the draft resolution that was proposed by Russia? We are still going to go beginning consultations on this end and we'll see you at the end. Thank you.